Hi, second grade. My name is Miss Jen, and I am one of Miss Julie's and Miss Sharp's teacher assistants, and I'm going to be um, doing your art centers with you. And our first art center today is going to be learning how to draw a snail, a cute little snail. And then we're going to write a story about our snail. I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. And that's it. Okay, so here I am with my piece of paper and my pencil. And I'm gonna show you an example of how to draw a snail. We're gonna follow these steps and you're gonna draw along with me. First, we're gonna draw a spiral and then we're gonna add two lines on the bottom and then we're gonna add his head and then we're gonna add his eyes and his mouth and his two feelers. Start like this, and you draw with me. We're going to start with a spiral. Go around a couple times, and then make it meet right there. Okay? It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. However you want to draw your spiral is okay. And then we're going to add one kind of curved line right there and then it's going to come to about there that's our second step just like that okay all right are we ready for the third step we're going to draw his head so we're going to come up like this maybe come around about there and then about like that okay now the last thing I'm going to draw his feelers and we're going to draw his eyes and mouth you see right here how his eyes are closed and he looks a little sleepy that's okay if you want to draw him just like that or you can make his eyes open if you would like okay. I'm gonna draw his feelers actually my snail is a girl so I'm gonna call her a she and then I'm gonna draw her eyes open just because I want to and then I'm going to draw her mouth. Okay. So when you're done drawing your snail, now we're going to write a little story about our snail. For this first time, I'm going to show you exactly what to write and I'm gonna have you fill in some of the words okay but we're gonna this is I already wrote this down so you can look at it we're gonna write a story this way we're gonna write once upon a time there was a hmm snail what kind of snail is your snail that can you think of a describing word about your snail for example is your snail a happy snail or a sad snail a nice snail a little snail a big snail maybe he or she is a clever snail or a smart snail. Or maybe he or she is lonely. Or maybe they are a sneaky snail. You think of a word that you would like to describe your snail, okay? 
So let's write that first sentence, just like that. I'm gonna write underneath the snail that I drew. I'm gonna write once upon a time, comma, because there's a pause after you say once upon a time, there was a, hmm, my snail is going to be a friendly snail. Okay, but you put whatever word you would like right there to describe your snail. We're going to tell a little story about our snail. So our next sentence is going to be, she wished, now you can say he or they, whatever you want to say right here. It does not have to be she. She or he or they wished Ooh, and that is a blank space for you to write in what you think. What does your snail wish for? Or what would they like to do? This is kind of like the problem in the story. What is the problem in the story? What does your snail wish for. Okay. I'm going to say for my snail, she wished she could play with a friend. But you put whatever you wish. You can write what I write, but you could also put your own words in there. What does your snail wish for or want to do? Okay, don't worry about your spelling right now. Um, just spell it the best, spell your words the best you can. Spell them how they sound if you're not sure how to spell them. Okay, so there's our first sentence and our second sentence. Our third sentence is going to say, one day, comma, because there's a pause there too. And look, I left that all blank. So one day, something happened. You get to decide what happens to your snail, okay? I'm going to say, because my snail wished she could play with a friend, I'm going to say, one day, comma, She met another snail in the garden. She met another snail in the garden. You get to decide what happens to your snail, and you get to write that after one day. And then, our last sentence is then. Then, what? And you get to make up that whole last sentence. What happened after whatever happened here? 
This is your last sentence, so this is the end of your mini story. I'm going to write, then she had a new friend. Yay! And that's the end of my story. Very good. You can add as many details to your own story as you would like. And you could also, if you have time, you can go back and color your snail or put polka dots or otherwise make it pretty. See you next Art Center.